Good morning and welcome to the 58th Newport Regatta, sponsored by Orange Coast College. Oh my gosh, they're rolling. This is the men's novice four, the Frank Marcellus Cup. In lane two is UCLA, lane three, Arizona State, four is Orange Coast College, five is USD, and in lane six, Loyola Marymount. We're picking the crews up at about 300 meters, so they'll have come out of their racing start, and now they're going to make their shift to get into their race pace. All five crews are relatively close. There's overlap. It looks like UCLA and ASU are But right there. now, it appears that University of San Diego is your race leader over oh, no. Orange Coast in second oh, no. place by two seats. And close to the camera, close to the camera, you'll see UCLA and Arizona State. So we've got two battles going on. In the close lanes, <clears throat> UCLA closest to the camera here, blue blades, white shirts. Next to them are the Sun Devils from Arizona State. As we're coming up to the 500 meter mark, Orange Coast College is putting on a big push right now. And they are in the lead. UCLA is also putting on a push not to uh, lose too much ground on the leaders, but it's Orange Coast College, your race leader, second place, University of San Diego. And then in third will be UCLA, fourth, Arizona State, and LMU in lane six, closest to the boathouse or the highway side, is in that fifth position. Okay. So right now we have two on. The Pirates from Orange Coast holding a five seat advantage over University of San Diego. Move to your left. Left. Orange Coast trying to break for some clear water. Rowing much higher. Let me get a stroke check here. Orange Coast is rowing 36 and a half. So if they're in condition, they can carry that all the way down the course. So as we're coming up on the 750 mark, your leader is Orange Coast College, second place, University of San Diego, third is Arizona State, fourth is UCLA, fifth spot, Loyola Marymount. Perfect racing conditions as the tide is turning in terms of the actual tide. Very high, and now it's starting to go out. Coming up to the 1,000 meter mark, halfway, your race leader is still Orange Coast College, opening up even more water on that University of San Diego crew. The second place San Diego crew has open water over Arizona State. UCLA still has overlap for that fourth position and LMU trails. No. Incredibly fair conditions for rowing. Flat water, no wind. Positions have pretty much been established now, and now it's just a question of each crew getting as much run per stroke for the effort that they push down on their legs. Race leader continues to strike the water at 36 strokes per minute, and now they have two boat lengths of clear or open water between them and the second place University of San Diego crew. Third position still being held down by the Sun Devils from Arizona State. They're about a boat length of clear water behind. Fourth position remains UCLA. UCLA still has an overlap in Arizona State, so they might be able to come back for that third spot and LMU trails. 
So as we come in front of the boathouse, the 1500 meter mark, your race leader in lane number four, Orange Coast College. Wow. Come on, ASU. Go, ASU. All right, beyond the boathouse now, we're coming up to the last 300 meters of the race. Or just increase their margin to, wow, as they would say in Henley, easily ahead. Positions remain the same. Orange Coast still at 36 and a half. That's good. Come on, guys. Coming up on the last 150 meters, if you've got your binoculars at the boathouse, you can see the finish boat on the Lido Island side has an orange flag up. When the flag is dropped, that indicates the first crew is across. When it's raised back up, that's for the second place crew. And as, raised, as it is lowered, that's the third, then fourth and fifth. But Orange Coast easily on the lead. Just seeing how fast, they're still at 36 and a half. The flag is up. And the lead boat has probably about five more strokes. So coming across the line first, Orange Coast College. Second place, about five or six strokes from the finish, is going to be University of San Diego. Third spot is going to be Arizona State University. Fourth, rowing the Jeffrey Strand will be UCLA. And the final spot will be LMU. <coughs> UCLA is now crossing the line. And then Loyola handles out the field. So that's the results unofficially of the first race the men's novice four, the Frank Marcellus Cup. Thank you, Jim. While we wait our next collegiate race, here's some youth times for you. In the first race, the uh, men's youth four, in, fifth, in sixth, Port Aquatic Center B in fifth place, Newport Aquatic C in fourth place, Newport Aquatic A in third place, San Diego Rowing Club C, in second place, San Diego Rowing Club B, and in first place with a winning time of 7 minutes, 16.6 seconds, San Diego Rowing Club A. Lane three, so lane three has Arizona State. Maybe it's only three and a couple of launches. It's the 2023 Newport Regatta.
Test, 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 test. Test, test. I think they're warming up. <clears throat> I don't know. Look at boat number two there. Incredibly fair conditions for rowing. Flat water. No Third spot is going to be Arizona State University. Fourth, rowing the Jeffrey Strand will be UCLA. Good morning and welcome to the 58th Newport Regatta, sponsored by Orange Coast College. Oh my gosh, they're rolling. Men's Novice 4, the Frank Marcellus Cup. In lane, in lane two, two is UCLA. UCLA. Lane, three, lane three, Arizona, Arizona State. State. Four, Four is Orange, Orange Coast, Coast College. College. Five is Five USD. Is and in lane Arizona. six, Loyola Marymount. We're picking the crews up at about 300 meters. So they'll have come out of their racing start. And now they're going to make their shift to get into their race pace. All five crews are relatively close. There's overlap. It looks like UCLA and ASU are. But right now.